Yeah. Now, it's been 15 years since little six-year-old singer Connie Tolbert wowed the judges on the very first series of Britain's Got Talent, but coming second in the final didn't dampen her ambitions for stardom. As a grown-up singer and songwriter, she's still watched by millions on YouTube. And now she's about to jet off from Sutton Coalfield and head to Hollywood to star in a musical movie. She's been telling Andy Bevan all about it. It's still one of the most memorable auditions from 15 seasons of Britain's Got Talent. Six-year-old Connie Talbot from Sutton Coalfield singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I loved it. Despite coming runner-up in the final, she won hearts around the world, performing live to 400 million TV viewers at New Year celebrations in China, singing to a packed O2 arena in London, and appearing with Ellen DeGeneres in the US. Finally found the words to say, but I'm scared you won't say them back. These days, Connie, who's now 21, writes her own songs. And 15 years on from BGT, she's still in the worldwide top 25 of YouTube's best cover singers. I'm lucky enough to still have the people that have followed me since I was a child up until now and watch this diary <laughs> that I've put online. Um, so I'm really grateful for those people and um, for them to still be listening to my music. And add to those fans a new one, film director Michael Baumgarten. The Hollywood-based movie maker heard Connie in a random playlist and knew he'd found the voice for his next project, The Key to the West. My ears like perked up because I was going, that's the voice of a, somebody that would be in a musical. <laughs> and it was like one of those things that's just like, and then I looked her up. And I was like, oh, my God. And she looks like a Disney princess. And I'm like, how is this possible? I'll be the leading role um, of a character called Ellie. Um, and it's a Western musical, so a bit of singing and um, going back into the 1880s. So, yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm excited for it. If all goes to plan, Connie will make her acting debut here, a purpose-built western town at the Yellowstone Film Ranch in Montana, either this autumn or next spring. She'll also shoot some scenes in Los Angeles. I love LA. I love being over there and um, I love being a part of something musical and hopefully it, it's going to be so much fun. Connie, of course, is no stranger to Tinseltown. Our cameras went with her just after her BGT success as she gave impromptu performances on Hollywood Boulevard, dashed between TV appearances and drew huge crowds at record signings. This time though, as well as playing the lead role, Michael Baumgarten, who's worked with Oscar winners and newcomers alike, has asked Connie to write some original songs for the film, doubling her chances of impressing LA's movie moguls and those all-important awards judges. Singing and performance is, is quite tied in with acting. Um, actually, in lockdown, I did um, have master classes on acting. So it was a newfound um, passion. She doesn't have to lip sync. There's no auto tune. She's pure talent. And that's the difference. And she can go out there and she could perform whatever song that she's nominated for. And she can knock it out of the park. The Key to the West is due out next year. And who knows, the lyrics from the song that first made her famous 15 years ago might just turn out to be a prediction for the next 15. And the dreams that you did to dreams really do come true. Andy Bevan, ITV News. I feel like we've just watched a fairy tale come true. Her story <laughs> is wonderful. And isn't she wonderful? She is great, yeah. definitely. And we wish her all the best with the film. Well, stay with us because in a moment we'll show you an alpaca who's been caught on camera trying to cross a busy road. That's worth watching out for. But first, James Wright has the weather forecast.